You can use the whiteboard mode within Easy Interactive Tools, or EIT, to create a digital dry erase board where you can write and draw, add, delete, and manage pages, and insert images from files on your computer or an attached document camera. Run EIT on your computer. The software opens in whiteboard mode and you see a blank screen and a toolbar. If you already have EIT open in a different mode, select this icon, then this icon to switch to whiteboard mode. To draw or highlight, select this icon to choose a pen type, then select the color. To draw a shape, select this icon to choose the shape type, then select the color. To erase drawings, select this icon, then use the interactive pen or your finger as an eraser. Select this icon to clear the entire page. Select this icon to undo the last action. Select this icon to redo. Select this icon to add text. Choose this icon to select an object. Drag this point to move it. Drag these points to reduce or enlarge it. Use this point to rotate it. Select this icon to see more interactive options. Select this option to copy the selected object to the clipboard. Select this option to paste an object from the clipboard into your drawing. Select this option to turn on infinite cloning mode which allows you to copy selected objects by dragging and dropping them. Select this option to cancel infinite cloning mode for the selected object. To insert an image, select this icon, select the image, and select Open. Select this icon to choose a background. You can select a pattern or an image. Select this icon to display the page list screen. Select this icon to add and display a new page. Select this icon to duplicate the currently displayed page. Select this icon to delete the currently displayed page. Select a thumbnail image to change the displayed page. To change the display order, move a thumbnail image. Select this icon to capture all or part of the current screen. And copy it to a new page. To save your pages to a file, select this icon. Select the save location, file name, and file format. If you want to edit a file again in the future, you must save it in EIT or IWB format. Using the Save tab of the Settings menu, you can change your default save location. Additional operations are available in the Tool panel. Select this icon to open it. Select this icon to create a new file. Select this icon to open an existing whiteboard file. Select this icon to print the contents of the screen. 
You can select the pages you want to print on the Print Settings screen. Select this icon to display an image from an Epson document camera connected to the computer. Select this icon to display an enlarged view of the image. Drag the cursor over the area you want to enlarge. Select this icon to cover the display with a shade and hide content. Drag the edge of the shaded area to resize it. Click this icon to delete the shade. Select this icon to highlight an area using a spotlight effect. Drag the spotlight edge to resize the highlighted area. Click this icon to delete the spotlight. Select this icon to display an on-screen keyboard you can use to enter characters. For more information on whiteboard mode, see the online Easy Interactive Tools Operation Guide.